But why specifically is she doing it now? What is she either getting ready to cover up or hand wave away? Or is she hoping that this is going to... Oh, Becky. Sorry, Beck. Hey, hi, hello there. Welcome to another episode of An Anthropologist Watches Amberlynn Read. Dark Anthropology. Mwah. I missed the spooky intro. I don't know what you want from me. I, I'm having a migraine. Started around 3 o'clock this morning. No, it didn't. It started around 3 o'clock this afternoon. Not that time really means anything when it comes to these videos, but it's been a minute. So that's why you get the lovely smarty glasses, because I need something between me and the light. Um, Amber dropped a video about two hours ago while I was still asleep, and... This is called Walk With Me, Can I Walk a Mile at 500 Pounds, Amazon Haul, and Plus Size Outfit Vlog. So apparently after telling us that she doesn't feel a need to prove herself to us, she's going to prove herself to us in this video. I have not watched this. We will be reacting to it cold. I'm not entirely a fan of doing that, but at this point I just kind of want to get this reacted to. Because I don't want to get too far behind. And right now I'm at like the euphoric moment of my migraine, which gives me some respite of the pain. If you have ocular migraines or just migraines in general, you probably understand what I'm saying when I'm talking about the, the euphoria part of it. If you don't, count your lucky stars, man. Just count every single one of them. I am an anthropologist by training. I am a retired archaeologist. I think I said that correctly. Yes. I have been working on the idea of dark anthropology as, uh, as, as it applies to Amber specifically. She is my muse. Um, it is non-academic in nature. This is just, if you know what dark psychology is, it's kind of the same thing, only we're doing it from anthropology, not psychology. Uh, if you, if you are, I, there's a couple of people who do the psych stuff in here and it's kind of fun actually. Uh, there's a couple of anthropologists in here too, which surprises me not in a bad way i always thought this was my dirty little secret and now that there's now that i know there's like more people like me out there i'm just kind of like oh, all right that's cool i don't feel so bad now <laughs> anyway thank you to everybody who's been supporting the channel this is the second video i've done since we hit 3000 i'm very excited about that thank you everyone who's been supporting the channel into the new year and yeah and uh, if you didn't watch the Glitter and Lasers video, I'll, I'll do it here too. Um, thank you to the couple of you that have sent um, tips on PayPal. I, I appreciate it a great deal. Um, I just want you to know and I want everyone else to know that I appreciate that you did that. And I appreciate all of my subscribers, all of my members, and everybody who's going to hit the thumbs up button. So there you go. I think I got all my thank yous out of the way. Did that really take three minutes? Wow. All right. She has been sped up to time and a quarter so let's jump in um was there something i wanted to talk about before we got started i don't know it'll come to me while I'm, while we're watching this i'm sure hello hello welcome Hi. to a new vlog today is january 9th so as we have been doing let's start it with a way in today's the 11th eh, she's not that far behind she's only two days behind hello hi hello it's ready. All right, seven on now. 513.4 pounds. Oh, 513.4. And that is unfortunate because... It's not that I don't notice the jump cuts, because I do. And it's not that I don't notice that, like, the, the machine is talking faster than it has in even past videos of hers. Sometimes she edits it, sometimes she doesn't. Somebody suggested that she has a voice app on her phone that just mimics the scale this is where i'm like you guys she's either dumb or she's not <laughs> like she can't be both she's not schrodinger's cat I, I just you know she's either insidious which i true i do believe she is uh or she's a drooling idiot it's this it's that simple um if she does have an app that does that that would be really interesting to me honestly a that that app exists and b that she figured that out Oops, i was on track yesterday and i woke up today just feeling super swollen so i think i just have a lot of sodium or something 
but that makes me sad low-key not gonna lie if you are on track then how do you have a bunch of sodium in your system bye goodbye Hi, okay, babe. so 513.4. I'm genuinely so sad about this. Mm -hmm. I was on track yesterday. You know, it's the first time she's marked herself with a little heart on a day where she gained weight. Normally, if she gains weight, as you can see, normally if she gains weight, she puts a frowny face on the day prior. This is the first time. Now, granted, she's only been doing this for a week now. Not even. Yeah, just a week. Things, things things, will change as we go forward, I'm sure. I want to see if she makes it through the month. So I have seen several different opinions when it comes to me tracking if I was on track, off track, daily. And so not only is she reading the comments, but she's watching the reactors. And not just watching the reactors, but reading the comments in the reactors sections. Because the conversation in my videos about her tracking occurs in the comment section of my videos. So I'm not saying she watches my videos. I'm just saying her sock accounts have come on here a few times to argue with me. <laughs> so. And to the people who think that it's unhealthy that I'm doing that, this is actually recommended when I was actually doing my binge eating disorder treatment when I was. It literally wasn't. When you were doing your binge order, binge disorder treatment, they told you not to track anything because first off they were health at every size and secondly they didn't want you obsessing over the numbers so that's a flat out lie that is easily tracked this is the part that always blows my mind with her this can be verified easily why are you lying about it why are you even defending it just say don't say anything for one or just say i want to do this blank off i was doing outpatient in the same way it's recommended like if you're addicted to anything any sort of substance to track the days you're sober i also had someone reach out to me and say instead of doing bad days and good days because that's like a bpd way of thinking because everything is like either all good or all bad to try to find the gray area and by doing that rate your days out of 10 instead so that's something that i could maybe start doing we'll see yeah i don't I don't believe she's been diagnosed. I know there's a lot of people who are like, oh, she's textbook. Oh, she's this, she's that. I don't, I'm not doubting that she is or isn't. A, we can't diagnose. But B, I don't believe that she's gone to a doctor that can diagnose her. I don't believe it. I think she's looked it up on the internet. Maybe she really truly is. If she ever got actually diagnosed, I would truly believe it. But I don't for a single minute believe she's actually been diagnosed with this. I think it's just the excuse she's falling back on right now to justify her incredibly bad behavior towards her ex. Um, so that's my current stance on this. I know she said she got diagnosed like either right before she moved or right after she moved to Oklahoma, which timeline wise makes no sense either, which is another reason why I'm like, I don't think I believe that she's ever actually been diagnosed. So. Yeah, me doing this is no different than people tracking on my fitness pal, whatever it may be. Um, this is actually helping me a lot because I'm able to see the days where I am on track versus off track. Yeah, but when I track on Samsung Health, which is what I use, there's no good, bad, 9 out of 10. There's none of that on the fitness app. So you, you just track things. It just shows you data. This isn't data. This is feelings. And that's fine. I mean, I'm sure there's a note spot where i could leave a note if i wanted to but i don't know if this helps you the individual go for it i just don't think it's i personally don't think it's productive i think in the long run it sets you up for not it doesn't set you up for failure i just think it sets you up for bad feelings when you when you're on an off day like especially with the frowny face thing like couldn't you just do like a plus or a minus, something neutral as opposed to something that's associated with negativity? Like there's no one on the planet who's going to tell me or convince me that a frowny face is a neutral symbol. It's it's not, you know, same thing with a heart. The heart's not a neutral symbol. A plus or a minus kind of is. It's either positive or it's negative. A, a sad face, a frowny face is 
the reason it exists is to express sadness and or disappointment. Like that that's the point. So I just think this is not a I just feel like this will set you up in a way to make you feel even worse about a about a day. You know, what if you're already feeling like crap because you know you ate off? You know, you already feel like crap because you know you screwed up and then you put this frowny face down here and so now every time you look at this you're like, "Oh god." You know, I just I feel like that's not healthy, but if that's what helps you knock yourself out. I don't know about the addiction recovery programs. I've never been in one. So I I don't know if that's really a thing that you do when you're in addiction recovery where you track your good days and you track your bad days. I I I again feel like that's not a great idea, but I've never had to do one of those kind of programs, so I don't know. And I know there are people in my comment section who have, so I don't know. Let me know. You know, I I don't know. I feel like it would be counterproductive, but I've never had to go through that, so. Okay, guys, so I have a little Amazon haul. I needed some more cutting boards. So I found Hi. these ones on Amazon. They're super cute. I love the colors. So freaking cute. Sure. And then I got two new Legos. So this is a Polaroid, which I thought was so adorable. Like, look. Okay, hang on, though. Do you put together Lego Polaroid pictures? Because if you do, I... I love it even more. I'm not usually, I don't usually like pictures made out of Legos, but because it goes with the camera and it looks like you feed it into the camera and the camera spits it back out, I'm very excited about this in a very stupid way. I love Legos. Come on. Look how cute that is. And there's like fake pictures that can come out of it. It's so cute. And then this one I thought was unique. Yeah, so I, hate, I hate this. This is stupid. I don't like this at all. That's a waste of Legos. There's four options, but it's like a modern art. Mm -hmm. And this is the one I'm going to do, but they also have three other options you can do. Mm -hmm. I really like this one. Look how weird that is. But you can tell it's a face because like the mouth, the eyes. I don't know. I just thought that looked really neat. So I had to get it. Not a modern art fan. Hello, guys. So it is January 10th. We are now in double digits. I have really strong opinions about things that have absolutely no impact on me whatsoever. <laughs> Up to and including art. One zero. Time truly is just a flying by. So let's continue the daily weigh-ins. Stepping on. I'm actually surprised I am still succeeding. Oh my god! It's a wild amber spotted in the wild. Quick, get my Pokemon ball. Oh hi guys. Still succeeding in this. Five hundred and ten point eight pounds. Five ten point eight. That genuinely just made me so happy. I honestly had such a bad day yesterday. I don't want to say that I'm agreeing with the people in my comments who say that she's holding on to things when she's weighing herself. But she had to step up to get onto the scale. She was clearly leaning forward when she did it. And then she leaned back to get out of frame. She is not that stable. So... Either she's not fully on that scale, or she's holding herself up. That's my theory. I typically do believe her weigh-ins, just because I don't see any reason for her to be faking it. And I still don't get a reason for her to be faking it. And maybe she doesn't think she's faking it. She's just leaning on things, and she doesn't understand that that causes issues. It's kind of like that scene from... Um, the Simpsons, where Homer's belly is on, like, the counter, and then they push it off, and he gains more weight. So, maybe it's one of those kind of situations, but... Here's the thing with Amber. Going back into our... Going into our dark anthropology hole. Here's the thing with Amber. Even though there's no benefit in lying about it, she's probably lying about it. And I have to remind myself of that. Because Amber... Amber has a story that she's trying to tell and she is the character in that story and as the character of that story she is doing certain things and she's going to do anything and everything in her power to make herself fit that character in her story up to and including straight up denial 
okay? And this particular weigh-in does kind of unfortunately change my opinion about her weigh-ins, which is unfortunate for her because I was one of the few people who was like, no, I think her weigh-ins are probably accurate, but well, that would be like close to a three pound loss in one day. I don't think she's ever lost that much weight in one day, especially when she's off track. Not like food wise, weight wise. I'm talking about like, I lost a very important person to me. Goodbye. Goodbye. I'm just going through something right now that like literally. Who could you possibly have lost now? Did your imaginary girlfriend stop talking to you as well? She is making my soul hurt, my soul sad. So that just made me really happy to see. That means I'm on the right track. I'm or are you still kvetching about your girl, your ex-girlfriend? I'm just going to try really hard today to focus on everything I'm grateful for and everything I'm thankful for that is currently in my life. Anyways, I'm going to have you guys stop looking at my ceiling and we will talk more in a second. But your ceiling and I are having an affair. Don't take us away. We're not done. If you guys hear chomping in the background, it's because Twinkie's eating her food. So today I was 5'10.8. That is a really big drop from yesterday. I think my body is finally catching up. See, yesterday I could definitely consider it a gray area, but- I was gonna say, you just got done telling us that you were off yesterday and then made some stupid excuse about your imaginary girlfriend. I'm just assuming that's what it is. I don't know. I lost someone very important to me. Who? Who? Did the cat run away? But I'm leaning towards more like on track. But I'm thinking, you know, the whole good or bad, black or white thinking. I think I need to step outside of that. Maybe starting tomorrow. And <laughs> I'll figure that out when the time comes. I couldn't possibly start today. That would be weird. So I'm going to show you guys how I have my jewelry Why? organized. This is my jewelry, folks. I just don't even know what to do with it. And for those who talk about my uh, poker... Here's a bunch of black ones in this bag. Um, we have some ones just floating around here. Cool. Like I do have a lot of just like black chokers. Um, but I think today I'm gonna wear some hoops. Ooh, I think I'm gonna wear my new pair that I got from Target. So I'm gonna do that. Do I wanna wear like a regular necklace? All of that's in here are actually uh, jewelry items that my ex got me. I just don't wanna get rid of yet or ever. Okay, you guys, so I am using some dry shampoo and it makes my hair look gray before I like take it out. So this is how I'd look with some gray hair. <laughs> I, I need to fix my hair, it's still a mess, but I'm just, I literally just sprayed this. Can you imagine though if I had like one gray like thing happening here? Oh my God, I'm getting so old. I literally do have real gray hair. I actually oh my God, you're like a freaking mummy at this point. Antediluvian over here. How the hell are you even moving? You're so old. You have a gray hair? I don't have any room to talk. I dye my hair, so. I have a lot of gray hair, more than I even want to admit, but I am 33. Some people get gray like in their 20s, so. I actually went gray in my mid-20s. And it wasn't like a bunch. I have a streak right here. You guys, somebody called me out for my double-toned hair. This is natural, actually. And I have this gray streak. This is all gray hair. And it's like silver. But I got this when I was like 25, I think is when it grew in. No, no one's in here. So let me close it. Uh, I'm actually so getting quirky. ready. I'm going to hang out with my mom. I need a good girly pop distraction. I think we're going to go to bingo. So I was going to wear my hair up, but I just was not vibing with it. We have one of my chokers on. We have my new earrings from the Target. I really love this chain necklace. So we're also wearing that. Cool. So this is what my outfit looks like today. And there's no pockets, which... Literally hate that, but... She never knows when she turns to the side. She always does this. Like, uh, what's the character from Clueless? Why? Why, Why do you do that? Yeah, that's okay. Do you guys see Wasabi? No. He's literally laying inside of this right here. He's so sweet. I will say it's been a moment since we've watched her play bingo. You know, the most riveting thing possible. Be number six. Okay, so some of y'all don't really like sitting in the fridge, but... But I'm gonna do it anyway. <laughs> Sometimes, in Berlin, um... 
edit that. The only reason she doesn't edit it is because she knows it annoys us. I don't know why I let it get to me. I fall for these tricks sometimes. Doesn't know where to put you. I'm eating a carrot. Good for you. And you couldn't have eaten the carrot not with the fridge door open? Like you were already eating the carrot before you shoved us into the fridge. So you're literally just doing this because you know it annoys your audience, which is a fabulous way to win your audience over. Hey, you know that thing that you guys hate that I do? I'm going to do it, and I'm going to do more of it because I know you hate it. <laughs> I'm so quirky. I'm eating a carrot. No shit. I'm actually going to grab another carrot. These slap. I don't know. I'm also making one of these Amy's uh, rice mac and cheese. Made with organic rice pasta. Hmm. Sounded good. So I did not- I can't have regular pasta anymore. It makes me physically ill. So that might be something worth trying. I do like a good mac and cheese. Which makes me sad that I can't have regular pasta anymore. I went at bingo, but my mom did. And so did her boyfriend. So yay for them because your growing got the good look. So I'm glad that they do. All right, you guys. So I finished Astro Boy. And he's like on a stand. This was- challenging because there was so many tiny tiny pieces like do you see that oh my god but i loved it i loved every single minute earlier this morning i actually knocked him off of this she's acting like she actually built a robot she's, she's acting like she actually built the actual astro boy it's so rewarding coffee table and some of him broke off so i had to fix him it took about an hour it was so sad it took you an hour to repair a broken lego but now i'm about to go pick my next one i'm gonna do Hooray. so these are the options we have bear robots a car mm. we have tales of the space age i hate that so these two are not lego brand but these three are no. so tales of the space age the modern art one i got today and also the polaroid Ooh, all right you guys polaroid. i chose Dang Tales it. of the Space Age. I'm so excited. Well, I don't care anymore. Excited. I like that she goes out of her way to show off the silver button. I've noticed she's done that a lot since she's moved into uh, this new apartment. And that's probably because of the setup that she has. She's always had it kind of hovering in the background. Or at least she did since the wifey era. Like, I think she had it hanging up in the wall in the office space. Um... But now she really kind of goes out of her way to really get the camera in there. Like, there was no reason for her to put that particular Lego on that shelf, which is also where she keeps her perfume that she likes to talk about a lot. So she's always finding a reason to go over to that shelf and just, you know, happens to show off the silver button that she's got. You guys, did you know she has a silver button? It's just, it's very interesting to me that she's... I understand that if you have a silver button, it means that you've reached some astronomical number of followers. And that's great for most people. I don't think Amber gets it. Like, Amber thinks that that's an actual achievement for her. And maybe it is, but it's not because she makes good content. You know, I, I think if I had a channel and I unintentionally had that many hate watchers... <laughs> I think I would not feel great about it. I don't know if I'd really want to be showing off a silver button of like people that just watch me because I'm a train wreck. Now, if I was doing that intentionally, if I was intentionally creating a channel where I'm playing a character who's basically Amber Lynn and I got up to a silver button, then hell yeah, I'd be showing that off. But I don't think Amber intentionally means to be this way. I think... She has, she loses control of her content once she puts it up on the internet and people can do what they want with it, which is, which aggravates her, I know. But you will not convince me she got that silver button because she has that many adoring fans. You just, you won't. You will not convince me of that. Hello, hello. It is January 11th. The day. Wait, so she edited this and put it up on the same day? I mean, it's possible. It's just out of character for her. The day that I upload this video is today. So I'm caught up. I've been caught up. I've been doing every other day. I'm so proud of that. All right. So it is way in time. So she has been doing every other day. Let's do it. Hello. Let's do Hello. it. So I am a little nervous. Ready. 
Thank Sorry. you. I am a little nervous because I feel kind of swollen today, but we'll see. Okay, uh -huh. step it on. Why do I feel the need to announce that every time? I don't know. 510.4 pounds. 510.4. Okay, I'll take it. Okay, okay no. so today... 510.4 and when i did weigh in i thought i actually was 510.4 yesterday and i actually wasn't so i'm down a little bit so that makes me really really happy what's the point of having this chart if you don't look at it like this is the second or third time she said oh i i thought my weight was different than it is and it's just like you you literally have a visual guide of your weight like but whatever Oh, I just got done saying I don't believe her way in from the 10th. I still don't think I do. I still don't think I do. I don't know. I don't know. She's a very manipulative person, and she's capable of manipulating a lot of things, so I don't know. And yesterday was another on-track day. So I've had four consecutive on-track days, and that makes me really, really happy. Okay. I thought we were going to do 1 through 10. Okay, you guys, so in my last vlog, I said this. I'm not saying I can run a marathon. I'm not saying I could walk a mile because actually, I don't know if I can. Last time I tried was a couple years ago and I couldn't. That's actually, that makes me want to try low key because a few years ago, I could only do this. My breathing is really bad today. I love that she picks this clip. So two minutes, 19 seconds. This is a wee bit disheartening. So today I am going to see, can I walk a mile or even close to it? I'm actually really freaking excited. I'm gonna take Twinkie. I have an app on my phone called Map My Walk. So it's gonna be able to track how far I'm walking. So can we just admire Twinkie in the background giving no Fs right now? So let's go. Okay, so I've been walking for like a minute. I do have Twinkie with me and it went from excited to nervous because it's like, I'm afraid. Am I not gonna be able to do this? I think I'm putting too much pressure on myself because you walked for a minute and now you're having anxiety? Okay. It's not quirky. Because it's like, I haven't been able to walk a mile, I don't know, over a decade. You could literally be walking and talking to us right now. Because we've watched you do it, so I know you're capable of it. Why are you not walking while telling me all this? Like... Did you realize that in order to walk a mile, you're going to have to leave your apartment complex and that hadn't dawned on you yet? And now you're standing on the edge of your apartment complex and you realize you're going to have to actually walk into public? Like, what did you think a mile was? Also, Map My Walk will give you walking routes so you can look at them before you go walk them. You could have done this prior. So, like, why do I think I can do it now? I don't know. She is literally sniffing and stopping every two seconds. We have some crosswalk. You are easily a hundred times larger than that dog. You could pick her up and carry her or drag her along. And I don't want you to drag the dog, but I've seen people be like, come on, come on. You can totally do that to the dog. My, my point is, is the dog isn't dictating the walk. And yes, she is going to have to cross the streets. Moments. Okay, so I have done a quarter of a mile so far. I'm doing pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. Twinkie is just having the time of her life. It's been nice, I'm enjoying it. Imagine that, the dog is actually enjoying getting exercise. Huh. Now I'm trying to decide, do I want to go up that hill? Or do I want to turn right or left? I think I'm gonna go up the hill. That's okay. gonna make things more difficult for me, but I wanted to keep going straight. All right, we walked up the hill. Didn't we, baby girl? How I mean, far ahead of you the dog? I hate when people do this with their dogs. The amount of lead that that dog has, that dog could easily run into traffic and you have no control over it. I hate these kind of leads. So I've been walking for about 26 minutes, which is kind of a lot <laughs> for me. I know some people finish one mile in like literally like six minutes. <laughs> Not okay. me. So now I'm going to turn around, go back where I came from, and it'll be a full mile. I'm shocked. I'm alive. I'm breathing. I'm okay. Twinkie's good. I have definitely improved. I mean, this is just like, proof is in the pudding. We are now walking down the hill. I will say walking is kind of boring, but there's so many people out that like, it makes it more entertaining. And plus I have like my music playing. I have cute little Twinkie walking with me. So I know these angles have been just brilliant. We're three fourths of the way done. One fourth to go. 
This is like Charlie Horse City. So I'm gonna have to be drinking some Gatorade for real. I don't have Charlie Horses now, but I know that they're they're on their way. They're on their way to visit. But I surprisingly feel good. Like <laughs> I'm socks. So I will see you guys when we're done with the full mile when I'm home. Twinkie and I did it. I don't know what else to say other than we did it. And I think she crying. So it took her just shy of an hour to walk a mile. You know, good for her. I I don't I don't have anything really to say to this. I mean, good for her. I think it's funny after saying I don't have to prove myself, she turns around and literally proves herself. But, you know, cool for her. Now, when are we doing the 5K? Because the 5K is basically, what, five? How many miles is a 5K? Okay. So the 5K will take you about three hours. Well, three and a half, probably. Let's go! You got nothing else to do today. We were about ten minutes away from home, and I started crying. Um, it was just it was like an ugly okay. cry, but it was just like few tears emotional the fact that i could do it just makes me so happy and just goes to show that okay why are we getting emotional and proud of ourselves for walking a mile when we were sitting here in the last video claiming that we could walk for three hours around the children's museum without stopping why if that were true why is this impressive to you why are you crying out of joy over the fact that you prove to yourself that you can walk a mile according to you a you don't need to prove yourself because you already know what you're capable of doing and b this should have been nothing for you if you're walking a mile every hour you've already walked a 5k when you went to the children's museum i sh she tells on herself that like I've improved so much and now I'm gonna drink this Gatorade. Hold on. Oh, that's good. I just still remember that Amber Lynn sitting in bed, wondering if she's ever gonna be able to walk more than two minutes. And I walked for almost an hour. It took a long time to do the mile because there was a lot of crosswalks, so I had to stop. Ah, uh, yes, that, that was why it took forever to do. <laughs> there you go. This is how you know she's full of shit. This right here. Nah, we're good. I was gonna say, I need some new screenshots but i think we're good with this one and then twinkie was with me so we were slow in that regard i'm slow in general i have short fat legs i will i got nothing to add walk very slow very very slow but i did it i freaking did it we did it we did it baby girl we did it baby she's poop <laughs> talks like uh <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to end this vlog. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one. Bye. How much you want to bet they didn't go outside again for the rest of the day? This whole thing with the walking. I have to question the motive, but the mo- yeah. I have to question the motivation behind it because she made it very clear in her prior video that she did not need to prove herself to us that she knew who she was and she knew what she was capable of and the rest of us can just go suck a toe. However, first off, we've got mysterious breakup with mysterious person who may or may not be her still whining about uh, Feline, but probably is her whining about her non-existent girlfriend as a way of explaining why she gained weight. Um... And now we've also got her proving to us that she can walk a mile. Good for her. I'm glad she walked the mile. I am. I mean, there's certain things that I'm... I think she does. She does it. She, she walked a mile. I don't know what she wants for me. Uh, blaming the pace of her mile on having to walk across, what, two streets that she showed us? Girl. Crosswalks don't take that long. Anyway. Um, but why specifically is she doing it now what is she either getting ready to cover up or hand wave away or is she hoping that this is going to oh becky sorry beck i forgot oh that's what this is this is all about beck which whose music i love by the way um that's what's going on this is deflection from Beck and from Beck doing the live that they did where they talked about talking about Amber. They were they were going to talk about their time dating Amber 
and they said that they were open to the idea of having an interview with Mr. Snowflake. As long as it's Beck's idea, I'm okay with it. If people start pressuring Beck into doing it, I'm not okay with it. As long as it's on Beck's terms and it's their idea, I'm here for it. Otherwise, y'all need to leave Becky alone. However, that's what this is. This is distraction from Beck doing their live. That's what's going on right here. Yeah, yeah. Interesting. Well, all right. I don't think her walking a mile is going to be enough of a distraction to take away from that. But, you know, it was a good try. And again, she walked a mile. Do I believe the weigh-ins? Um, I don't know. That weigh-in, where's that first weigh-in where she went down to like five ten? That was very sus, very very sus, and that sudden drop from. 13 to 10 even without that weight gain she would have been dropping from 12 to 10 i don't know i don't know i know there's a lot of people who don't believe it and i don't know i'm fence sitting actually do i care i don't actually care about the weight as much as i care about the lie itself um and i it's not like i'm offended that she's lying to me it's just the lie is further proof of her uh manipulation of her narrative to the point where she's doing something to manipulate the um the scale do i think she has an app that's talking for her no and that's only because of the fact that she records on her phone and if she was running an app on her phone the audio would be much different so you can tell there's some distance between the phone and whatever's talking, so that's why I don't believe it's an app on her phone. Though, if that exists, I am interested. For, you know, a friend. No, I'm kidding. I don't have a talking scale. Um, do I think she's probably leaning on something? Yes, because she definitely leaned on something when she stood up to do that uh, way in. Now, 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 after having said all of that, um... Do I put it past her to literally do that just to have us have this conversation? Yes, I think she would. I do 100% think she would do that. Uh, the refrigerator thing is proof enough of that for me. She will do, she will troll her audience. So she will do things that she knows will start conversations or start speculation, if you will, or have us talk about putting us in the fridge of a situation i know this aggravates a bunch of you but i'm gonna stick you in the fridge anyway why what was the point of us being in the fridge other than she wanted to aggravate those of us who don't like being in the fridge but she doesn't watch reaction channels you guys anyway um but that's another form of manipulation she's controlling she's trying to control her audience's reaction to her by providing us with something that she already thinks we don't like and so by basically by giving us this thing that we don't like putting us in the fridge she can distract us from something else later on or she can pull attention away from something else like with the walk Yes, she walked a mile, and whatever you want to say about it, she did walk the mile. Could she have faked it? I guess. But she did walk a mile. We're going to go with that for right now. Why did she choose this time to do it? After being very adamant about the fact that she doesn't need to prove herself to us whatsoever. Because Becky spoke out. Beck did a, I haven't watched it, but I've seen plenty of clips from it now. Beck did a live, talked about bits and pieces of being in the relationship with Amber, called out some things. Did you guys know that FBI Frank isn't real? You know, we're all shocked. Um, but that kind of stuff. So she once again has an ex speaking out about her in negative ways. So to hand wave away from that because she's not addressing it if you'll if you notice she's not addressing it at all though i do wonder if that's the i lost someone important to me thing 
I'd have to do the timeline on that one because that would have been the ninth. That would have been around the eighth or the ninth. I don't know when Becky did their live two days ago as of today would have made it the ninth. Okay, yeah. So timeline wise, that's a picture Good for Becky though. Um, timeline wise, this all lines up with Becky's, sorry, with Beck's, um, live. So that's what this is. But, uh, where was I on my train of thought before I got completely distracted? So Amber is trying to hand wave, trying to distract. Now remember, Amber never addresses things. If something doesn't fit into Amber's narrative, she either tries her damnedest to rewrite it or, and to gaslight her audience, like truly gaslight her audience like with the whole i was told to write to track my weight and stuff when i was at the um the weight loss bed clinic no you weren't <laughs> no you weren't and if i'm wrong let me know but i'm 98 percent sure i'm not anyway she, she either tries to gaslight us like that or she just straight up ignores it and throws something else random at us. And I think that's what this is about. That whole thing about I can walk a mile and I don't have to prove myself to you happened well before, at least a day before Beck's live. Beck went live on what, the 9th? Two days ago? That would be the 9th. And Amber gains weight, then loses weight again claims she lost someone really important to her and she's just dealing with the emotional damage of that and then decides that she's going to prove to us that she can walk a mile because this she's hoping that the positive response from her walking a mile is going to overshadow the negative responses that she's going to get from becky's it's not a tell-all but becky's uh beck's live where they do talk about their time with amber um so this is just narrative control. This is just manipulation of the, the storyline. This is just smoke and mirrors. Everybody look over here kind of a thing. Um, so at least I was able to put that together on my own. Mwah. Will I be watching the Becky interview? Sorry, will I be watching Bex live? No, I will not. Not unless y'all think that's something I really definitely need to. Will I watch an interview with Beck and Mr. Snowflake? Yes. Um, just because I think it'll be important storyline wise, especially like dark anthropology wise with Amber, because that um that whole concept of the victims of the empath series that he's doing is exactly everything dark anthropology means to me. So I will talk about the paper I wrote. Wrote wow. No, I will not because I didn't write a paper. I will talk about the paper I read uh, by, I think it's Susanna Ortz. Well, their last name's definitely Ortz. Um, it does mention dark anthropology, but it's not the same way I'm using it. And so we'll talk about that in a different video because uh, this one's already getting long. So I'm going to go eat dinner now and probably crawl back into bed. And nurse the rest of this migraine off. If you have made it this far, go ahead and put a little doggy down in the comment section because Twinkie just got the walk of their life. And let me know what you guys think down in the comment section down below. Let me know if you guys have any questions about the dark anthropology stuff. I'm trying to work it in more, but I suspect I'm ranting more than I'm actually talking about it. So just let me know. And yeah, that's that's what I've got. Little doggy, let me know what you guys think of the dark anthropology. Let me let me know what you guys think about the whole video in general. Um, let, let me know what you guys are thinking in, in general, I, I guess, as long as it pertains to the conversation, which is this video. I got nothing. I need to go. Thank you for everybody who's been supporting the channel. Thank you to everybody who is subscribed. Thank you to my members. Thank you to everybody who's going to hit the thumbs up button. If you've made it this far, you might as well subscribe. And I will see everybody in the next one. Bye!